Hi, this is Chris Bell with EdTech Team. Today we're going to talk about Google Classroom settings. Once you create a class, you can modify the class settings later. Today we're going to explore that. Once you go into the class settings, you'll be able to change the course title, modify the room number, things like that. You'll also be able to display, delete, or disable a class code which allows students to access the class. You'll be able to choose how classwork notifications appear on the stream page. Decide if your students can post on the stream page, turn on guardian email summaries, and choose to see a deleted post. Let's get started. So to access the class settings, you'll go to the little cog in the upper right hand corner of Classroom. Once again, you have to be in classroom.google.com and access an individual course. That will open up the details here. So here I can modify any of these individual things. Hopefully this is math. Oh, look at that. Foundations of mathematics. And then we get into our general. Here's a class code that we would use to invite students to the course. You've seen this in another video. I could click here, display it for my students to view, push it out so that it's only the thing that they can see. I can copy it, put it somewhere else, like a syllabus or other things. I could reset the code, and it changes it. Or I can disable it, because then I don't want to allow any other students to join my class. For the stream, which is on our primary home page, I can choose what students are able to do. Students can post and comment, so they could ask questions there and comment back. Students can only comment, or only teachers can post or comment. I'm big on allowing students to be able to connect with one another, so I want them to be able to post and comment. On the classwork on the stream, I can show attachments and details. I could show condensed notifications, which would be a shortened version of an assignment that's posted. Or I could hide all notifications of classwork and only have student questions in the stream. I'm big on showing condensed notifications. And then I could show deleted items in this, in this class, but that would only be visible to myself. It's useful if I deleted something and maybe want to refer back to it later. For the grading side of, th of your course, you can set your grade calculations. Total points, weighted by category, or I could allow the students to see their overall grade. I want them to be able to see that. I may not want to focus on it, but at the same time, I want them to be able to see that. And then I can add grade categories. Obviously, this is very personal and based on your own class, but I'll demonstrate. Class participation. It's going to be 20% of my class. Uh, quizzes or formative assessments, depending on how I'm approaching it, might be worth 15. Homework might be worth 5. Shall up my class percentage. Exams might be worth 30%. Final exam be worth 10%. And attitude worth 10%. Obviously, you set the parameters of how you, you choose to prefer in your own class. So that's it. Uh, those are the class details. I would save this. And now all of my class settings are set. Once again, you access that through the cog or the gear up here, and then you can always make modifications later. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a fantastic day.